Good afternoon, everyone. When I was 14 year old, and in my ninth grade, my parents decided to switch my school for my better future. That introduced to me a new language, Sanskrit. The challenge was my colleagues were fairly acquainted with the language because they had it in their previous terms. Whereas for me, it was a completely uncharted territory. So for me, it was like biting the bullet attending the first Sanskrit lecture. It would seem very trivial to most of us, but for a girl who was at the top of a class and uh, <laughs> he was at the top of a class, it was a nightmare. I would want to show you visually where I wanted to be and where the situation was leading me to. So this well-known bell curve explains the laws of diffusion. It explains the distribution of population with respect to a change. Let's go from left to right. The first section is only 2% of the population. These are the innovators. They introduce the change. The second section is only 14% of the population. These are the people who adopt the change quite early, as soon as it comes. These are the early adopters. Then there is majority of population who do not want to take the risk. They wait for the change to become a normalcy. Then there's the last section who lag and who do not want to change with the change. It's imperative to focus on the two sections, the innovators and the early adopters. That's the green zone here. These are the trailblazers, the pioneers who bring the change and embrace the change. To stay ahead of the curve, it's important to be in this green zone. But to secure a position in this green zone is just the beginning. What true challenge is to stay in this curve? To do so, one has to master every change as it comes. Now coming back to 14-year-old me, I had two choices. One, to accept the circumstances, compromise, and fall behind in ranks. And second, was to conquer the change. I chose the second. I followed a strict discipline in studying Sanskrit. And what I practiced actually conjured a new mantra to beat any change in my life. Let me introduce that change to you. I call it PAL. I think an apt acronym, a friend who helps you through the change. P, prepare. Get ready for the change. Lay the groundwork and as much as possible you can. It's a proactive stance towards change. So when the change arrives, you are not caught off guard, but you are ready to beat it head on. Aid. Now this pillar illustrates the importance of support in the journey of change. It's a dual pronged approach. So do not hesitate to give and take help whenever necessary. Learn. Learning is the bridge that will connect you from where you are to where you want to be in face of change. So stay curious and keep learning. That is, you, that is how you adapt to change. Now, whenever I am in a difficult situation, I try to see if there is any change that is bringing out the difficulty. And once I find it, I try to apply my mantra to it. So let's see how I used it to beat Sanskrit. I prepared for every lecture beforehand. I uh, read through the chapter, got it translated, listed my doubts. So when I entered the classroom, I entered with less chaos in my mind. I was prepared for the class. Aid. I did not hesitate to take help from my tutors and my classmates whenever necessary. I also helped other students who were in similar situation as mine. And that made my fundamentals stronger. Learn. I took a slightly different approach in studying Sanskrit. So I started participating in uh, Sanskrit proficiency competitions, and I even enacted in a Sanskrit play. So Sanskrit became fun. And I got listed 
in a high school examination merit list and got published myself in newspaper. <laughs> so the journey continued and I completed my computer engineering. I wanted to pursue masters and be a lab rat. But situation again changed. I entered into the IT sector and I let myself grow professionally every day. Every day is a change for me. So I try to apply my mantra every day. Let's see how. Prepare. Again, I enter into a meeting room with preparation. I go, even if it's a trivial daily sync meeting, I go through the notes of the previous call. It helps. And if it's something new that you don't know, ChatGPT helps. Again, less chaos before entering the meeting room. Eight. I do not believe in reinventing the wheel. So get the help, get there faster. That's what I believe in. And I also mentor my colleagues that has helped me grow significantly. Learn. When I'm in a situation where I don't understand stuff, I become very apprehensive. One such situation was when my team started working on machine learning models. All the new terms were thrown at me. So to understand the fundamentals better, I dived into a master's degree in business analytics, and that brought me closer to AI and ML. And this beautiful journey of mine has brought me to this wonderful place, at and I have two amazing daughters, but motherhood was the most perplexing change in my life. I tried to apply my mantra there as well. But can anyone get ready for parenthood? No. So I learned and I planned every day. I planned for every important milestone, every birthday, every new hobby, every change in their lives. Let's say eight. My partner is an equal parent to my kids. So I cannot term it as aid or help, but I took equal, equally uh, help from my family and friends whenever it was necessary. Learn. Uh, I know I cannot belong to my kids' generation. So I try to learn the trends and the thoughts of this generation so that I can understand them better. So sometimes I give it a try on the new dancing trends, like shuffle. But it's not about uh, learning their interests. It's about the willingness to connect with them on their terms. So these are the two people making my life beautiful. In my time in at and I have realized at and follows much more than my mantra to stay ahead of the curve. But if you have to see how it fits, um, let's relate to it. Prepare. With every new technology in introduction, there is a designated team which will work on its feasibility, will evaluate its benefits, and see and help the management to have an informed decision before applying it. Eight, we do not believe that only 2% uh, of our company can innovate. So we try to get help and ideas from everyone belonging to the company. So a small group does brainstorm on architecture, but we have events where every person comes up, up, comes up with their ideas of innovation and evolution. Learn. There are two sources of change. You all will agree. One that is introduced to us by the technology environment we are in, right? And second is the change that we bring ourselves. at and encourages us to embrace that why not attitude and challenge ourselves every day. And it motivates us to bring the change, be the innovators instead of adjusting to the change. So being in this dynamic environment of at and my personal mantra is slowly evolving. It's actually mirroring the innovative spirit of the organization. So my new mantra to stay ahead and 
beat the change is IPAL. I innovate, P prepare, A age, and L learn. My name is Manjiri Yane, and I would like to ask you this question. What's your mantra to beat the change? Thank you.